What's up guys? Thank you for coming back to my channel and today we're doing a special video review on these building sets that you see before you. Now um, I'm going to tell you guys uh, who they're made by. They are made by iPop Designs. So if you guys um, have an Instagram account, you guys can go on Instagram and you guys can uh, search iPop Designs. They have a page uh, there where you can see um, the buildings that uh, they make now these buildings are 3d printed all right and um, I contacted iPop designs and they hooked me up with 13 of these building sets and man they're really really cool I'm so happy that I purchased these uh, these pieces all right so um, I'm just going to give you guys just a quick look at some of them. Uh, my favorite building is probably this one right here. So uh, it has an LED inside. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks. All right, so you see it's got, it, it's, it has that simulated effect of fire, like the building's on fire and things. And uh, you can put the battery up like that and uh, keep it like that, which is really nice. So... Um, I have my Godzilla figures out in front of you so to give you guys uh, an idea how how they look in scale. Now for me personally as a toy photographer, I do keep in mind uh, scale a lot, especially be, uh, depending on which Godzilla I'm doing a photo for. So for example, if I'm using uh, the legendary Godzilla, these buildings are perfect because um, go this Godzilla is in a hundred meter tall Godzilla. He's almost 400 feet tall. S now, the general rule of thumb that I go by when I do toy photography is that the smaller the wi the windows look on a building, the larger Godzilla looks in the photo. All right, so that's something that I personally keep in mind. I mean, you guys don't have to follow my general rule of thumb. You guys can use whatever Godzilla figures you want in your toy photography. So I just want to show you guys uh, the 1954 uh, Godzilla. Like you guys know that he is a 50 meter tall Godzilla. So, you know, having this Godzilla stand next to this building, he probably looks um, out of scale and this Godzilla would look more in scale with this particular building. All right, so again, that's just my own personal preference. Uh, the way I, I approach things uh, when I do toy photography, you definitely don't have to follow my advice on that. I mean, you guys can do whatever you guys want. All right, so... Um, Again, I mean, I, I'm, rare, I'm very happy that I purchased these buildings. They're really nice. Uh, I got, again, I got 13 of them. They are 3D printed. They're also um, painted uh, very well. I don't know if that's if he painted, but I think he did. Okay, but it's, it's really cool. I mean, uh, having buildings like this um, is, a, is, a, is a treat because you know you get like all these extra textures and stuff when you're using light you get like the, the, the shadows and everything which is really nice which is a lot better than using um, you know paper craft buildings I'm gonna show you guys one of my paper craft buildings that I use for my toy photography now this is good okay so um, this is still good and adequate uh, but I personally prefer something that has uh, more texture to it cuz like Depending on how you shoot your photos, I mean, if this is too up close to the camera, um, you know, it's going to give away that um, that appearance that this is a flat, this is made out of paper and, uh, you know, it's a smooth surface. Whereas opposed to this, you can see that, you know, it's got nice texture and everything like that. So um, that's something to keep in mind, okay, guys? So, like, if you guys are using paper craft buildings, um, try and keep this uh, uh, as far away from the lens as you can because you don't want to give away the illusion that this is a this is a paper building okay because you don't want to see you know those uh you know smooth surfaces i mean you would much rather see this sort of thing because it, it it really makes the photo pop all right so um that's it for this video guys i'm gonna show you the toy photography 
uh, behind the scenes uh, on some of the shots that I made. All right, guys. So again, I'm going to leave the in the description section, I'm going to leave the link to their eBay store where you guys can go and purchase uh, uh, building sets just like mine. Also, I will leave the link to their Instagram page where you guys can uh, follow them and see uh, what else they're doing. Okay. And I personally would like to say thank you to iPop Designs for these amazing building pieces. Uh, and I'm, I'm definitely going to be picking up more buildings in the near future. So guys, thank you so much for, for watching my video today. Guys, go support iPop Designs. They're really nice pieces. And um, I'm sure you guys will, will, will like it. Take care, guys, and I'll check you later. Bye-bye.